what's going on YouTube so like I said in the last video I'm breaking it down and I'm and I thought about it I'm just gonna make it into three part it makes sense right you know so combined stores and shit and obviously since this is not technically records and not a movie what else could it be it's this what is it it's a comic book oh my god yeah so it's a comic book yeah actually um as a as a, as a store uh clerk registered cashier whatever you want to say store owner i guess because that's his store uh sorry for the awkward never mind because i'm awkward anyway whatever um, so this, uh, which is called, uh, the Uncanny Avengers, is basically, um, a team of mutants, X-Men, Avengers, everybody else combined, and basically, oh shit, led by the elderly uh, Captain America, and it's kind of confusing, especially if you're not really, like, that into much comic book, per se, but, especially it's confusing because, um, I mean, just, like, last year or whatever, uh, Captain America, like, announced that he's a Nazi and working with Hydra and always been evil or something, like, you know, whatever. I mean, if you're, like, read the comic books, you know, issue after issue after issue, you kind of, like, know what the hell's going on. But with me, I'm just like, what? It's, uh, I mean, the, actually, the only reason why I actually picked up this comic book, because Deadpool's on the cover. And if you have anything Deadpool related, I'm like, hell yeah, I'm Deadpool. Yeah, I love that shit. Uh, um, I just think it's kind of funny how people are like, oh, you're not like a true fan. You didn't pick up his original comic book. Or whatever. I mean, shit, that's kind of annoying. Like, I'm a fan. I like the shit. Whatever. Get off my back. No. And actually, uh, I didn't really look at the back cover until like right now. Uh, Spider-Man's also in the team, which is fucking cool. Spider-Man, I mean, it was like the first uh, comic book character that I actually got into, and actually, funny thing is, I've been meaning to stay on this channel, but I never really actually got a chance to or whatever, but it's funny, because like, growing up, I've never actually, like, been into comic books, or actually, I didn't even know any places with a comic book store, but uh, I've, somehow, for some reason, I've always gravitated towards uh, Spider-Man, maybe, maybe because it was, like, always on uh, uh, TV, you know, like, as a kid growing up. Or maybe it could be due to the fact that, you know, it just seems super fucking interesting. I mean, the guy was like a, like a huge nerd, and I'm like a huge nerd, and he's like an outcast, and I'm kind of like an outcast, and whatever. And it's just swinging onto buildings, it's just, that's just pretty cool shit. I mean, it feels kind of like a, 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 the urban version, or not really the urban version, but like living in this, uh, the, the, the city version, I guess you could say, of... Um, Tarzan, you know, I mean, basically, that's what the, the same shit is, like, he just wings and just kind of, like, you know, he's amazing, kind of, like, a superpower, and also on the back cover is, uh, uh um, <clears throat> the Marvel version of Flash, you know, which is Quicksilver, and the way I say it like that, because he kind of sucks, I mean, <laughs> but just the costume and everything about him is kind of sucks, I mean, I mean, like I said earlier, I'm not really a Mitchell's huge comic book fan, but, you know, like, I don't read comics that much, but, and actually, before, uh, I mean, I know I've been rambling or whatever, but uh, the, the, the comic book guy was actually pretty cool. It was like, you know, like, I thought he was going to be like, you know, the typical you know, angry nerd. Or shit, or shit. He was actually pretty cool. It's like, uh, you know, giving me backstory on like uh, the, the comic book and uh, like what happened thus far and shit like that. And just, you know, major props to that guy. He's really humble and really kind of like, you know, told me about it and not be like, well, you don't know about it, then I'm not going to show you this comic book or whatever. You know? Anyway. Been rambling enough. Here's the second comic book. You know, and I mainly picked this up. You know, I obviously, of course, read the back and uh, to make sure, like, what it's about instead of just picking it up, like, blindly, like, oh, I want this. You know, even though I don't know what the hell it's about. Anyway, so basically, it's a it's a Doctor Strange, uh, uh, not Marvel Doctor Strange. It's actually like what I like to uh, I like to call him uh, Professor Strange, so I won't confuse myself with the Marvel version of. Uh, uh, Doctor Strange, well, not really virgin per se, but yeah, I guess, I mean, only a name, right? Anyway, but uh, his full name is Doctor Hugo Strange, and uh, the, actually the only um, place that I know of, of, of Hugo Strange is actually in the Marvel, I mean, not Marvel, sorry, in uh, the Arkham video games, and uh, he's, it's like, the, the interesting thing about him is not, he's not like 
typical like a crazy character. He's just kind of like he's an actual doctor, but he's totally, totally obsessed with uh, Bruce Wayne to the point. I mean, Batman to the point of a little bit unhealthy, uh, you know, like. But you know, it's funny because most of the most of his characters are unhealthy obsession or whatever, and just kind of like whatever. Anyway, um, basically, yeah, that 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 generally the gist of it is like. Kind of uh, Doctor Strange is like he does some shit with a uh, with the weather and then just makes everybody crazy. I don't know. It's just it sounds so interesting to read and just like uh, Batman particularly going crazy. I mean that's that's interesting because he's always crazy. Um, yeah, basically that that that's basically it for the comic book portion of the record of Friday, which ironically. Uh, <laughs> which ironically like you know you wouldn't really sell comic books in the record store, but if I had a record store, I would most definitely sell comic books. I would sell everything if I had a, a, a record store. I'd be like, you know, records, TVs, movies, games, you know, a media store, I guess. And uh, in my next video, I'll get to the meat and juice, meat and bones of the whole thing. The actual records. Okay, just stay tuned for that. And uh, I hope you like the channel. Please like and subscribe. Tell your friends, tell everybody about it, because why not? That's how things work, right? Okay, well, I'll see you with another video, because I'm The Flash, and I'll see you next time.